So I'm Alex, I'm here with rockflesh.com and I'm sat with Max from Piscian. So we're um, just going to talk a bit about the tour so far and about the new album. So I believe it's day five of the tour, day four or day, day five. five? Day five, So yeah. how um, are you finding the tour? Has the reaction to the new album's material been received well? Yeah, the, the, the tour, the tour so far, it's been amazing, you know, like just, you know, touring with Nile, we're like both like, a, you know, like real death metal bands I feel like it, I'm so happy to be you know to have this chance to to be on tour again af yeah, after the pandemic and the new album it's you know it's just like a kind of a getting back to the roots yeah it's a very like very brutal and fast yeah. I would say it's like a mixture of the new stuff with like a Black Force Domain, Apocalyptic Revelation. It's pure, it's fierce and it's brutal and, and it's fast. It's the, in my opinion, it's like the real crisis. Yeah. It represents the, the, the real essence of the band. So the album came out in July, Mortem Solace. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like you say, it's I found it a little bit of a throwback to earlier stuff. Yeah, yeah. So how does a band who has been around for as long as Christian have managed to keep the longevity, managed to be able Able to produce new ideas that are fresh but also similar how is there a particular uh, writing process it's, it's all about the passion man we love we love to play this kind of music and uh, we inspired each other we're, we're lucky that we are three brothers and we live close yeah. to each other so we spend a lot of time jamming and playing music and having fun and enjoying playing this kind of music so we always inspire each other like when Moises had like uh, you know first ideas like some some riffs and ideas for songs, and then uh, we we were together in our practice room, and it was like yeah, listening to the drums, the bass, and it was just like the, the chemistry. We inspire each other, so that's I think that's how we keep the flame burning. You know the, the real death metal, and we love death metal. We are like a death metal warriors man forever <laughs> sick so did you kind of find with obviously how passionate you are about the actual creative process and being together and sharing each other's ideas did you find it difficult even more so than other bands may have done when the world was all shut down or was just fortunate enough to kind of maintain that contact like you say being so close to each other or did it kind of influence the songwriting process a little bit more because you maybe have been a bit further away at all or? kind of yeah like in the beginning of the pandemic we felt like uh, not inspired at all it took some time for us to get back on track you know like the first year we were just like home music you know like waiting for something to happen and then on the second year of the pandemic we were, we felt really inspired yeah. we're like uh, uh, let's let's fucking do it man yeah, and then so we're like we, we talked before starting the process and we, we had the same ideas like to go back and make like a, a the new album to be more straight forward and faster and uh, more dynamic, like short songs, and you know, just trying to go back and uh, do what we do best. Yeah, it's almost like being cooped up for that long, it unleashes a new kind of yeah. passion and energy. And actually, we had a little more time this time to yeah. work some details, like yeah. riffs and vocal lines, you know. So, obviously, you guys um, have a lot of roots in Brazil. The one thing I love about Brazil and about that part of the world is the passion and energy from the fans. Yeah. Obviously, there's been um, a lot more recently, there have been live DVDs of concerts from maybe River Place in Argentina or from Mexico City or from Sao Paulo. What is it about that part of the world that just invokes such a almost primalistic response from the fans? who just clearly love that type of music as much as they do. Sorry, I didn't hear the, the, the last band. Sorry about no, that. It's okay, so um, what is it about that part of the world that just inspires such passion and energy from the fans who go and attend the show? I, mean, I well? don't know, man. It's, I think we're a bunch of wild people. <laughs> we, people love the, the lifestyle, I would say. Like, to, because to me, metal is not just like a music style, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. And people, they like to go out. I, I like, like, kind of the, the old school approach yeah. when people like to go out and, and drink and see their friends and have a good time and enjoy yeah. the shows and you can tell people are happy. Yeah. Now coming back from the pandemic I can tell it kind of the same same vibe because people are so happy yeah. to be able to go out again see their friends. I mean 
the metal community is just like this huge family yeah. in the whole world, you know. And I feel like uh, South Americans are, you know, just, they have this passion, you know, yeah. just go out and see the bands and. If, it's it's amazing, man. It's a great yeah, feeling. Of course, it is. What strikes me as interesting as well is that there's kind of been an unfortunate circumstance in which bands from South America might not be breaking it in yeah, yeah. the rest of the Western world. I mean, right, obviously yeah. you've got yeah, bands it's... like Sepultura that have kind of broke that. But do you think there's anything in particular that's kind of preventing bands from the South American region to be able to push up and maybe make a bigger name for themselves in Europe or in North America or? Oh, it's hard to say, man. I mean, uh, there's so many uh, great bands in uh, in the States, for example, so many great bands in Europe. But if you see, like, Brazil, it's still... There's a lot of bands that are, like, uh, you know, getting to be known outside Brazil, like, uh, you know, Sepultura and Us, yeah. and uh, Crypta, yeah. and, uh, you know, uh, RDP, uh, Sarcophago, you know, so it's... It's an underground scene, yeah. and could be bigger, but still, people are always keeping an eye on the on Brazilian bands. So yeah. there should be more bands coming up. I mean, it's tough, man. It's tough business, you know, to make, you know, to get a, you know, record deal and to agent, you know, in uh, Europe or in the States. You know, it's it's not easy, you know. So, but still, you know, there's a, you know, a few bands uh, from Brazil that people are, yeah, definitely, like uh, enjoying all these. And, uh, so obviously, the rest of this tour, I believe it was 36, 37 days. Yeah. What amazed me when I looked at the poster is I was counting how many off days there was, and I think there's something like five. Yeah, four just or five. a few ones. Yeah, a few so, ones. what is it? How is it that you are able to kind of keep up the passion and energy on stage for such a long duration of time? Or is there times where you think, oh, you know, I, I might not be, might not be feeling it today? How do you push yourself uh, to some, be able yeah, to? Yeah, man. Some some days you feel really tired, but then you know you, you gotta do what you gotta do, man, and then uh, just get focused and prepare don't drink too much <laughs> you know you always have a few beers after you play but I never go too too, too far, far you know because I know I'm gonna I'm gonna pay the price on the yeah, next day so it's I'm used to it man I mean it's always different I, I, I think like uh, not just for musicians or bands on tour but for everybody some some days wake up full of energy some days wake up feeling like shit or whatever but you have to fight this is about yeah, struggling and always try to do your best, you know, yeah, whatever you do, you always have to struggle and uh, get up, you know, wash your face and do what you have to do, man. And always try to do your best no matter what. Amazing. So yeah, this is day five. There's just 30 plus more days to go. So good luck with yeah, the rest yeah. of the tour. Thank um, you so much. I've appreciate been it, man. Alex from rockflesh.com. This has been Max. Um, and yeah, let's see how the show goes. I'm really yeah, looking yeah. forward to it. It's going to be a brutal one, man. It's yeah, Christian are just show, one of those sure, bands I've been listening to and I was just like, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So Appreciate man. Yeah, good, enjoy Appreciate the show brother. and good luck as well. Thank you, man. Not a problem at all. Thank you so much. You too, pal. Oh, yeah.